And Christine, there is concern and urgency here this late hour, concerned by many of the tenants in one of the apartment buildings that one of these intentionally set fires could quickly spread and take down the entire building. And then you have the urgency to find this fire bug, to get the fire bug off the streets ASAP, as investigators say it is definitely a public safety threat. Here's why. The suspected Long Beach firebug strikes again. This white pickup truck, or, or what's left of it now, the latest target of somebody who is setting fires, setting them on purpose. The peace of mind part, you know? I mean, because now you don't really know when when the next thing's going to hide, and the guy's still running around. His pickup one of the first to be torched by the suspected arsonist, a neighbor quickly putting the fire out. As Long Beach fire investigators now say, in just the past two weeks alone, up to five fires, all intentionally set, all of them burning the same target. Some of the consistencies here is that they're all vehicles inside parking structures in close proximity, and that's what lends us to believe that they're all very much connected. Connected to possibly the same person, now turned firebug. Three of these fires happening right here at the Camden Harborview Apartments. Another fire hitting the parking structure at the convention center. And there is more to the M.O. of this fire bug. They appear to be in an area or in close proximity to an entrance and an exit, meaning that the, there would be less likelihood of this individual being found or seen as they're attempting uh, to, to conduct this. The fires have left some who live and park here at Camden Apartments worried, worried about their own safety, especially, they say, with the rise of homeless wandering through the area. At nighttime, you know, they're all around here so the safety and then three it's like am I even comfortable enough to you know keep living around here without you know looking over my shoulder or wondering what's going to happen next. One of the tenants out with this picture of a man seen near the parking garage at the time of one of the fires. Investigators say he is not not a suspect instead calling him a person of interest. One of the victims calls him something else. Uh, we, we all know who he is, and I've seen him a bunch. Uh, I, would, I would bet that he's homeless. He definitely has some kind of mental instability. You know what I mean? Now live, a lot of the uh, tenants here know what he means. They describe this fellow as somebody who wanders around aimlessly, grinding his teeth, they say, growling at everybody. So they would like investigators to find him. For their part, fire investigators say that man in the picture, not a suspect, a person of interest. As they put it, they'd like to find him. They'd like to talk to him to see if he has anything to do with all of this, if he has anything to do with this rising concern of these fires hitting this neighborhood.